So, just so you know, I was an expert marksman, <clears throat> third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you're Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes, got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, deck. okay, thank you, bye, bye. So, um, how was your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? It was, it was okay. Hey, a boy! So, I mean, what happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's really smart. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. No, 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 hey, look, no sweat, okay? We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move before a real man swoops in. Maybe we have worked too hard. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Obvs. All right, Nick, one point. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Okay. All right, Nick. This time for real. Nice shot. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. Let's see what you got. All right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Oh, I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle, Whoa, okay? Dude, not with this freaking cannon doing? blaster. That is how you get someone shot. God. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey! Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No! <sighs> Ooh, what's that, Jakey? Huh? Huh? Pop, pop. Peanut butter, butter, pops. Okay, I get it. I get it. Blam! We thought this was over? What the what? Pop pop, peanut butter butter pops. Walk right through that door. I'll make the promise to you 
Okay, new idea, party game. Mm. Uh, Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style. Mm. Okay, house rules are, someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So, like, normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can, like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house deals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? Really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I, uh, I. Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on, I, I'm not finished. Um, have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? No. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, uh, Abby, oh my God, just pick someone. Okay, okay. Um, uh, I don't know. Ugh, ding, 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 too late. My turn. Ryan. Truth or dare? Truth. I'm an open book. Okay, okay. Let's get right down to it. Let's do. You and Mr. Hackett. Here we go. What were you doing in his office? We were talking about her. The hat. Oh, the brother. He asked me to stop telling ghost stories. Is all. You don't really believe that, do you? I try to look at things through a certain lens, no expectation or judgment. Look, do I believe there's a little old ghost lady floating around trying to eat people? Well, well um, but she eats people now? But it's kind of fun to imagine it, right? Just don't get eaten tonight. It, like, really put a damper on the mood. Do my best. Alrighty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. Caitlin, what do you say? Truth or dare? Truth. Yeah, truth. Let's see. So you and Jacob go way back, right? Like since you were kids? Sadly, yes. Lame question, bro. Waste of a turn. You guys ever... Uh, get down to business together? When we were freshmen, I made Jacob let me practice French kissing on him. But it never went any further because he's a terrible kisser. And it was like kissing my brother. There you go. Still love you, bud. <laughs> okay, my turn. <sighs> Emma. There. Emma, so you have to kiss. Jacob or oh. Nick. Uh. <laughs> well then. Um uh sorry, Nick. This is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose Nick. M. Seriously? Guys, 
Goiás. Thank you, Nick. He's good. You like kissing my girlfriend, asshole? It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's girlfriend. <laughs> the fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob. Grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. So, anybody want to play Parcheesi? What? As always, delighted that you're here. So, then, what more has been found? You return without any more of my cards, yet you return nonetheless. Why is that, do you think? I can't help you without the cards. I want them found. I want them returned to me. Please, my friend. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again, you can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. I can kiss anybody. Stupid. Stupid. Oh, great. Where the hell am I? Abby? Shout again! I'm over here! I'm coming! Nick! Hey. Hey. Um. Hi. You, uh. You ran off. I 
think that game just got a little too intense for me. I... Yeah, I know what you mean. Would have been in a different lifetime. So, all that stuff back there? Oh my gosh. Emma really wanted to make Jacob jealous, huh? You think? Uh, I mean, yeah, why the heck else would she kiss me like that? was just playing along. Yeah. It's just a game, right? <laughs> right. We look.
technique needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. I guess you found that. Of course. <sighs> Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... You just love having an audience out. Oh, Jacob. I mean, you. I can't believe you, you fucking Frenched him. You know, in front of everyone. Jesus wept. Frenched, are we 12? No, but Nick is. Kind of. You know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> you, you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sarapus, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No Nothing. Never mind. Fine. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Ah! Oh, or... You can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Some are fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite over. Okay. Jacket and Thacket, huh? Oh, well, Jacket must mean Mr. H. Chris Hackett. Who the hell is Thacket? <sighs> Looks like somebody didn't put their oars away. She's still wet. Exactly zero. You dick. God, what the hell? Just get back down here, Jacob. Okay, well, I guess we could just like drip dry or you, know, you could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? Well, 
Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. <gasps> oh, but I can because you see, oh, help, help, I'm, I'm drowning and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> okay. What's this? A female in need? Fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Jake is here! Cannonball! Oh, oh, oh. Cold, cold, cold. Oh, cold. Oh, cold. Hurricane Jake. It's not the promised land, but I'm sure this room is planned. Oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? <laughs> <laughs> hey, switch! Oh, stop being a uh, rock! Move. Okay, hey, look, <clears throat> check this out. Uh, okay. <sighs> Take a picture of me. Uh, uh, yeah, for your like um, little subscribers or whatever, top 10 guys who will keep you satisfied at summer camp. <laughs> oh, so I get nine more? What? but like not the good kind of scream. I can't hear you. Okay, look, just just hold on. I'm gonna go check it out. What? what seriously? That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Kaylin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is gonna make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know, Nick's got the beast in him. Uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let that cute preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? Alright, Dylan. Truth or... Uh, I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. Uh, we gotta help her. Uh, <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Where's Nick? I... Go after Nick! Go! Okay. I've got this. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful.
both of them. Stop! Stop! I'll uh, shoot. Uh, 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 Holy shit, dude! Oh, not, not, not. Hey, can you walk? Jack! Gotta go. Come on, come on. Come on. Get back to the fire. Oh. Oh. Girl waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Just, just let me down, okay? Just don't hurt me, please. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? God, son of a bitch. Quiet. Helps if you close your eyes. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Shh. Stop. Help. Shh. Help. Tastes bad, don't it? It's for your own good. What the fuck? What the fuck? Seems like just a blink and you're back to see me again. So, then, what have we got? It's the star. Stars, stars in the night, sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance. Fear of despair, trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity, and sometimes proof. The tower. <clears throat> Jump free of your troubles, fight or flight. That's the question we all ask ourselves, but often when leaping out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step. It could be your last. Remember, 
There's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? No? Okay. If that's what you want. Back to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. Horrible. It was, it, it was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast and, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter and it was just. Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Nick, hey, buddy, can you tell us what happened? I'm all attacked. Where's Abby? Super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. Right. There was... There was a guy there, but... There was some kind of... Some kind of animal... What the hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? Jack, is Abby? Hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because teeth were on top of me, I think it was a bear. Full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears right here. No. Uh, oh fuck! Look at that. Oh shit! That black stuff. That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, it's okay. Uh, fuck that. Uh, We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What What do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? I can't remember much. I mean, I don't even know what I saw. Holy shit. I know how to use it. Sort of. Brian, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? <sighs> Be careful. It, it was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? <sighs> yeah, you better run. Very brave. All right, so, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? No, 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 no. Don't shoot, don't shoot! I'm here to save you. Holy shit. Nick, is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked in the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. <sighs> Fuck, of course they are. So wait, what happened to you? Right, right, okay, so, like I was saying, okay? I heard Abby screaming, so I came running, like as fast as I could. From the lake? Yeah, and then, and then out of nowhere, I stepped into this like, I don't know, like a, like a booby trap? Like some sort of hunter's trap? The goddamn thing snared my leg, hoisted me halfway into the tree, just zoop. So I'm hanging there, half naked, and then this guy with like a fucking machete comes right up to me, looks me right in the fucking eyes. But I taught that guy a lesson, booked it right the fuck out of there. We gotta get Nick and Abby back to the lodge, like right now. Uh, hard agree. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? 
Oh yeah, no. Um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with like a he had like a bottle thing. I don't know, dude. It's like a really long story. Ew. Yeah. No, it's super fucked up. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get! We're in a real mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Brian! Sorry. This is bullshit. Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what, risk another uh, run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zip line. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. But yeah, I have an idea. Okay, let's see what tonight brings. Here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool, well, one thumb, one available thumb. Okay. And it was here on a strange uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I wanna go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. You know what, sorry, I'm bending. Oh, explorer bending. You know what, fuck it. Let's do it. To the tree house, fellow explorers. <laughs> is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man-child. It's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why, why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh look, the metaphor in the narrative. 
by means of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Ah, oh, what the hell. We're in it now anyway. Well and truly in the thick of it. Because you know what else? I was really excited for the next part of my life, you know? I mean, the summer was great, but what's next? I mean, come on. I know by the time I post this, Hackett's Quarry will just be but a distant memory, and I know it's just one night, and you have to make the most of all your opportunities, and yada, yada, yada. I guess I just don't want to have to settle for what's around me, you know? Abby sees me as this confident person, but really? I'm just desperate to stay afloat in a world where everyone wants to be different. This is actually kind of fun. I feel like this is the first time I've been alone all summer. Kind of like it. I guess that kind of reinforces the whole Jacob thing. I know the plan was for him to come get me, but now that I'm by myself, kind of like it. Sorry, Jacob, if you're watching, nothing personal. It's a me thing. We're cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. I mean, who knows? Maybe in 50 years we'll bump into each other and be flooded with fond memories of that one amazing summer at Packett's Quarry Summer Camp and that spark that changed our lives forever. Then we'll be like 70 year old lovers or whatever and have crazy walker sex. <laughs> Hey, it could happen. Only time will tell, Jakey boy. And as they say, time makes fools of us all. But we will be the oldest, sexiest fools there ever were. <laughs> Until then, I gotta do my thing. Sorry, buddy. Hmm. Thinking about it, how could this have been Mr. H when he was back at the lodge? Quoth the raven nevermore. Maybe we'll just take a look up this way. This is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tots. There's also a zip line, which, eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. But first, we gotta get there. And there's still so much to talk about. I hope Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick. But it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool though, they're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. Car keys. Police car keys. I think this might be one of those, I'm sorry officer, I have no idea what you're talking about situations. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave those right there. And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming tree house. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all 
in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and... Oh, look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But... I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. I think there's something up there. And it is not gonna make me jump, I can promise you that much. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah, okay. Come on, come on. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. I really hope they're going to be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is going to cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. Does she? I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? I... I, I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? 
We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Uh, cops? Yeah, don't fuck around. There's hunters out there trying to kidnap us. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help. My friends may have been attacked by bears, but maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And then one of them was kidnapped by these hunter guys with blood on their faces, and there may have been shots fired, but not by us, but also maybe by us. And they cut my friend Jacob down from a tree. Separate incident. Long story. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. Nine one one. What's wrong? Dead. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang-up thingy? What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay. Well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. So this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah. And where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Kaylin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure, but that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. Am I interrupting something? Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. 
see you. Oh, a time again, is it? Strength. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into a, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. The magician! The incredible, the unbelievable, the mystical, sensational. Perceptive manipulation. The work of a magician. Now you see it, now you don't. Blink and you miss it. And you wouldn't want to miss it. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? No? Okay. So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? I'm okay. I'll be okay. Thanks to you. No, no, I, I just helped a little. It was all Caitlin and Brian. You're here with me. That helps. All right, they're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um, the... Oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so just in case. Oh, what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? <sighs> Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. I thought you said Dylan and Ryan already left. It's 
stay here. I'll check it out. We'll be fine. Just be careful. Stay alert. say but like what yes yeah, so like I was just you know thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and started camp and well, like now that summer's over and you know is that like the last time we're gonna see each other you know I'm sorry Nick what what are you saying hey don't worry about Caitlin she's tough I know I'm sorry, Nick. I'm just distracted. Let's just get through the night, okay? Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but... kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? Duh, are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. I just mean... Of course I wanted it to happen, I just didn't know if you did too. That seems like such a long time ago now. You did want it to happen though. Uh, um, I... You can tell me. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> You're just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. I'm 
is going on out there, Caitlin? We have died. We have died. It's okay. I got this. Oh my God. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Yeah, yeah, it used to be more of a actual radio station, actually. Um, uh, you know, I mean, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird, actually, that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything. And, you know, nowadays, everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Technology, it giveth and it taketh. So is is that something like that you want to go into? Camp radio? No, like uh, DJing or music or something. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I like music, but I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, you know, not not here. Um, I'm I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here I. Um, You're a wise, wise cracking smartass. <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but uh, no. Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, and do, do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yet, like, you know, whatever, man, it's pretty cool, it's fine. <laughs> Um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. back and really take your hands off. What is this doing at a kid's summer camp? I don't know, man. That's... It wasn't here over the summer. I mean, if it was, then we would have noticed that, right? Well, whatever it was trying to catch, you can't now. That's why Nurse Kelly went home early. Oh. 
What in the name of voodoo do do is this? All good? All good? Oh, this place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay. 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 Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever. So, I think the range is about a mile. How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. Like a class? Yeah, it's easy. Like climbing. Sign me up, teach. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. Dust magnet. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. How's it going out there? This is, uh, uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere, and there's these hunters too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good, and a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help, so please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please uh, come help us, SOS, uh, this is a, an emergency, S save our ship, come on down, please help us. Did I do good? Was that swarm of bears? Yeah. Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears. But oh my god. All right. I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything yeah, back. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Check it. I got a ping on the radio, but no response. I'm gonna head to the... Wait, did he, did he say lodge? I don't know. Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Out. Out. Oh. 
Holy shit, they're talking about us. Fuck, 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 man. How? Because we just told them on the fucking radio. Fuck. They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Hey, let's, let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's, let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I have no idea. Uh, Ryan? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can um, tell them to hide or something. Yeah. Uh, oh, fuck, no. Oh, shit. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get in the... Oh, fuck, dude. They're gone. What now? We gotta kill it. It's not a normal animal, man. I don't think a gun's gonna cut it. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? I don't know, man. I just don't think it's a good idea to go running out guns blazing against some random ass super animal. Well, what the hell else can we do? Well, if it's got hearing, like a like a dog, maybe. Uh, I mean, we could we could play a really high pitched feedback loop and crank it to the max. And uh, I mean, it would hurt like hell. But okay, fine. Let's do it. Feedback thing. All right. Okay, come on, Dylan. Let's do this. Um... Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, yeah, right. So, there's, there's something missing. I, what's missing? Over you. Do it now. Go quickly. Okay, 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 just, just hang on, hang on. Whoa. 
Fuck. Are you sure? Yes, fucking do it. Fucking do it. Get the wire, get the wire. What? Get the wire. The thing, get it. On it. Plug it, plug it into the thingy. Oh, keep pressure on it. Ah. What do I do? What do I do? The button, the button. Oh, he blew the speaker. Uh, it did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. <laughs> oh, fuck my hand. Right, right. Okay. Oh. Oh, just hold on. Why did you do that? You told me to. Oh, that was a bad idea. Is it safe? I don't know. That thing's gone, but we heard those hunter guys on the radio. What? Picked up their walkie signal. They knew we were here. Fuck, you get a message out? I'm not sure anyone heard it. <sighs> Great. What the hell was going on at... Oh my god! Dylan, what happened? Oh, um... I'm okay. I, I, I mean, I, I'm not. Um, but it's, it doesn't doesn't hurt. Okay, you're in shock. Holy fucking shit. Uh, Did that thing do this? No. Well, sort of. It, it... Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. Did she shoot at us? Who's there? Who was she? Should we follow her? Ah, <sighs> oh, shit, Dylan, what is that? Cause I'm taking the world you'll see. Cause I'm taking the world you'll see. They'll be calling me, calling me.